welcome back to my channel we are back with another free people haul which i did say i was gonna do in my previous video so although i am meant to be on a shopping ban i already knew these ones were coming and there might be some other things orders place but it's fine it's fine i'm selling like all my stuff on depop um and i just needed some nice summer pieces so let's begin first of all i actually have two free people orders but it came in three separate packages and i don't even know if this is everything because they kind of come like all oh, I guess. <laughs> they kind of come individually for some strange reason but i got this this is the i don't know what this is it's a gorgeous red dress i just think one this is perfect for work it's a bit short but it's just super cute love 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 i actually think the material was really nice feels good quality and this was 78 dollars us dollars maybe i don't say the prices because that's going to depress me but i got this in an extra small okay this one is a little bit creased which is annoying but this is what i mean about stuff from free people being big like it's gapy and stuff but it's okay this is super cute and flattering it covers your bum completely which is nice even if you move i see to do a little steam on it i feel like this is cute this would be nice for work and like dates in summer now that the seasons are changing it needs a bra though i don't think it looks nice without a bra oh yeah very cute my next one is i feel like this is another dress oh no it's not it's these gorgeous candy shop vibe shorts i hope you can hear me over all my unwrapping i'm trying to go quick because i don't i hate hauls where everyone just talks 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 gorgeous these are so cute they have them in so many other colors uh, but i thought this was like the most cute and summery is giving australian beachy summer uh these were 40 us dollars they're so cute they're kind of like toweling material. I actually highly recommend these before I even try them on. They feel so nice. So this is the next pieces. These are the shorts. I actually don't like them on as much as I like them off. But I do think they'll be good for like a beachy bikini day. I just think they're very like so they're quite higher here than they are. There's like less. I don't know maybe it's because it goes over your bum. Who knows? But they feel like there's more fabric here and it goes up here but goes down here which feels kind of weird to me but yeah this is them nice material i just think like say i've got a bikini on so like that's kind of fun i think and you can do these up or undo them so this is a close-up of the detailing nice i like them i know so many people ran about or oh, also them an extra everyone rants about free people quality but i think free people quality is very good like um Especially compared to like other brands like Cotton On, Glasses, H&M, all that vibe. I don't think they're that good quality to be honest. Next, I ordered this ages ago. It's been on my floor waiting for me to show you guys for so long. And I'm obsessed. Like they had these in red as well and in yellow. I wanted those as well too. But I thought let me try one colour that could match shoes that I already have because I don't really want to be buying things willy nilly. I got this in a size two and this was a 98 US dollars. Maybe I just cut out the prices because this is making me very depressed. Like, yes, I got my tax. So basically I did this order when I got my tax return. So I'd over overpaid in taxes. <laughs> so yeah, that was like a nice little hit for my account. But look at this. It's a it's a gorgeous little mini skirt i'm obsessed with mini skirts at the moment and it feels such a nice quality i really really hope this fits um all the pockets are workable pockets and they are huge i just want to say that because i just hate when pockets aren't real one thing i'll say about free people is everything i have from them has pockets in it and i just love that so i have some devastating news this is too small i should not have got a size two but free people was always huge, so I just assumed a size two would be fine. But just absolutely not. Absolutely, absolutely not. But the front is so nice. Like this is super flattering, but just just too small. I just need one size up, and then it would be fine. 
but they're so cute the material is amazing i love the like utility style my next and my last thing from free people i have actually ordered other things so they must be coming at a later stage it's really weird you order and you think you've spent a lot of money but it only charges you like 50 bucks and you're like what the hell but it's because it will only charge you things once they've got them it's really maybe it's like some weird drop shipping thing but whatever i didn't mean to think about it because it's just me out but it doesn't really look that nice to be honest but it's basically a pair of shorts that have like a skirt over them so it looks like a skirt but it's actually shorts i just thought it'd be nice when i actually showed this this was probably my least favorite and now that i've got it on this is probably my favorite this is so cute like this is adorable and it's so comfy like these are like bloomers like this is well comfy i've got so much room <laughs> yeah i love this i thought like this would be so nice for camping for beach days just even for like say if you're going shopping in like a really hot place but this is a perfect throw on piece obsessed look at that that is just so cute next is some things that i got from brick uh b-r-i-k which is a vintage store in in the west end in brisbane how gorgeous is this mini skirt it's so nice super flattering so this is the next piece it's quite tight i'll be honest i felt a bit more confident in the shop in it because i felt like i was having like a skinny day um but it's just a nice little mini denim skirt because my denim skirt that i've got at the moment it's just a little bit long whereas this is nice nice just like simple throw on piece vintage I'm not really sure where it's from but yeah i have no idea um but yeah simple dark denim that's all i tried all these on the shop as well so i know they fit next i've been looking for some black denim jeans for ages and i adore these these are levi's they fit so nice on the bum and on the legs they're just like a straight leg what are they called the 530s so I've got the denim, the blue denim 501s, which is the best Levi's, and these are the 530s. But they're also very nice. I wish I had a good little tripod to like film me everywhere. But these are just nice little black jeans. They're nothing special, but I really like the fit of them. I think they're really flattering on the bum. And there's still like room, so I'm not like trapped. But then at the same time, they they look super flattering and like tight is nice i feel like skinny jeans are coming back and i love the fact they're not too high waisted or like too low waisted where you feel bloated next very rogue of me but i have so many um dibbits that i got when i was in thailand with my family and i just love dibbits like i keep collecting them wherever i go and then i'm like well i might as well get some crocs so i bought this cute little new dibbit as well so I can put a picture in it. I'm going to put Majuli in there. Well, I'm going to ask you to get a picture of Majuli because I wish there was plastic over there. Like I can't wear it if it rains now, but whatever. Got this cute little gibbet to put Majuli in there. And then I just got these crocs because me and Stu, if you have me on Instagram or TikTok, you'll know, or, or if you watch my vlogs, you'll know that we go camping a lot. Like we're massively on, big on camping. And I just always walk around barefoot, which is fine. But sometimes it's like, stuff everywhere and sometimes it's just like if you're camping for a few days and you've got like really dirty feet and then you're getting in your tent in the sleeping bag like joint sleeping bag as well like just know that's really gross um so i thought some crocs would be good especially in the morning or in the evenings like i need to pee all the time and say if i need to pee in the middle of the night i can just shove these on and go and it's nice to have shoes that have holes in them just in case there's like spiders or anything not that you really see too much of that in brisbane but more so if we went to like northern territory or something you never know next is some books so i got this hopefully the, uh, this uploads before my mum or my mum doesn't watch it before her birthday um i got her this gorgeous claire douglas book we love claire douglas that is our favorite thriller author so i'll get her these books and then she'll read them and then send them back to me and then we can talk about them which is a nice thing to do with your mum uh this one is about a sister goes away and when she goes away her sister moves in with her partner and her kids to look after them and just make sure everything's running smoothly and like help out around the house 
Uh, and then they both get attacked and end up in hospital. And then she gets a note being like, this was meant to be you. Scary. And while I was there, I did also pick up a book for myself. Um, I just saw this and thought it looks interesting. And I'd read like a hundred blurbs. I was in Dimmicks for one whole hour. I read this book. I was like, immediately I need it. It's so me. Catherine lives by the rules, ticks all the boxes and prepares for the worst, even while she hopes for the best. Then the worst actually happens. And as she tries to navigate life as a young widow, it turns out she is not prepared at all. Nothing scares Catherine more than stopping, but everyone insists she needs to take some time for herself. Head to a wellness retreat, they said. Enjoy some me time, they said. Except this retreat isn't a pity party she was hoping for. Instead of massages, she has an erotic meditation. And instead of spa treatments, she has a scream therapy. Catherine has never lost control in her life. In fact, she's fairly certain that if she starts screaming, she might never stop. Now, if you know me, I am a big organised girly. Everything is written down. Everything is structured. Everything it's done this way and if it's done differently i'm like <laughs> um i've just always been like that i'm just a little organized girly and it does bring me a lot of joy but i when i'm going traveling i'm way more like whoa da, da, da. and it's like why can't i just not find a little bit of that at least on the weekends in my day-to-day -day life without feeling guilty and i just thought this kind of screams me i've really underlined something i've read like literally 10 pages I read it on the bus on my way back from Pole, um, and me and Danica went for some coffee. I've already online something. I can plan my way out of anything. There is no disaster that can't be overcome with a brand new notebook and a pack of highlighters. And then she says, my plan it like this. Get up two hours early, meditate for 20 minutes, journal for 20 minutes, drink some fresh ginger tea while sitting in the garden and then goes on to like, well, this is so me. Like I'm one of these people, I'll plan these like, really fun things. And then I'm just like, sometimes all those things that are meant to spark joy just as overwhelming like when you give yourself a hundred things to do like meditation journaling working out stretching rock climbing and then you're like i have other things to do like i do all those things sometimes every single day on top of having a full-time job and reading 50 pages and then i wonder why i'm like tired <laughs> but i don't actually get that tired maybe I, there's something wrong with me maybe i'm just like in mega high functioning all the time should I show you the last things even though I said I was only gonna film for 10 minutes and try on okay maybe I just show you next I got this little map you know it's gonna be happening it's gonna be happening um me and Stu want to do Vietnam Cambodia Sri Lanka Laos we're already doing the Philippines on in Christmas um Mongolia Kazakhstan some other random places I know obviously not all of them are Southeast Asia but yeah that's the plan next uh we have this is super random but me and Stu have decided we love like we've made clay stuff before but we love the cool homemade magnets that we keep seeing online so we decided we would make some so he got some he got like the stuff to cut it out and something else i don't know but then i got these things like and then we're gonna have a little clay making day. I think we're either gonna do it tomorrow or next weekend. We just haven't decided. So I got this like glass roller and then I got some clays. I'm actually gonna get you to put in some pictures of the clays we've seen online. They're super cool that we'd like to copy. So we've got some black clay, some white, some, I don't know. I would say this is bluey, greeny, I don't know, turquoise, some red, and some pink and i didn't think this through because i wanted to make food like little foods for the fridge and then put pictures up everywhere these aren't really food colors so i don't really know what i was thinking to be honest i need to get like a brown or something like a beige and then i got this green that's not giving like salad green it's giving like stop oh wait no go <laughs> um as you can tell i can't drive and then also i got this little glass varnish and this is so you can paint it and then put it in the oven then it comes out all nice so it'll look professional somewhat anyway it's shoes well because he's very artistic mine we can just we can hope it's fine lastly don't think i just got my mum a book for her birthday because that would be highly offensive i also got her a rainbow dress which i i'm not gonna open because i don't want her to i don't want her to think like i don't know i just think it's nice it's like this nice packaging um because they wrap their stuff quite nicely as well and then I also got her this card because it looks like my Julie. And she loves my cat, my Julie. I need to write that this weekend. Maybe I'll do that after this. 
Uh, when I was at the bookstore, I also got a little game for Stu and I, and then I realised, which I actually, because I just love the packaging, it's a little sardine can. I wish I liked sardines, they're so healthy. I just, I don't really breathe when I talk, I kind of just like talk, like, I don't know. Oh well. Um, so we got this, and then I realised it's for four players. So that's kind of annoying, but I do have um, a new friend, and she has a partner, so maybe we have like a game tonight, something like that. And lastly, they did not ask me to show this. They just said they'd like to send me some stuff to try. Because they thought I was like the type of person, like the way I post and stuff, they thought I would like, I do drink matcha pretty much every single day in cacao and stuff. And I said, yes, of course. Like I actually normally turn down people sending me things like headphones and hair straighteners and things like that. Because one, don't want straight hair. Two, the headphone one I actually was keen on, but then they wanted a whole video, just the headphones. I was like, that's so like fake anyway so this is from a brand called oh my god a, a bista a basta i don't know if i'm pronouncing that right uh they do turmeric drinks matcha cacao and i just thought that was so interesting oh they sent me three i thought they were just gonna send me one uh but these were some of the drinks that they sell it's like a powder form um, and I will show you how I make these um, over on my Instagram and my TikTok if I like them. They told me to try them and see what I thought. But I just like the formulations. Like, So this is a little taster of the matcha mallow, which is just, I don't know, it's very kind. And then I also, so these are the two that I thought sounded the nicest. This is the matcha myrtle which is for focus and clarity. Now I have my matcha in the mornings before work, so it's perfect. Uh, it's got matcha, aniseed, myrtle, pumpkin, lacuma, and rosella. It says, a delicious beverage for all beings who wish to enjoy a more animated and inspired relationship with their mind and body. Beautiful. Uh, and this one is the cacao bloom for joy and strength. Now I like cacao before bed. I think it's nice and relaxing. So this one has raw Peruvian cacao, lacuma, maca root, and cacao butter, which sounds amazing. And maca root is um, good for sex drive and things like that. Um, and like just, I don't know. My dad's going to watch this and be like, what the fuck? But yeah. <laughs> so that is everything I have to show you. I am now going to try everything on. But you'll have already seen all of that because it, I like to edit it in. But yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I don't know if I'll be doing any more hauls because I kind of want to come away from them and do more vlog content. I know not everyone, my vlogs just don't get much views in comparison to my hauls, which sucks because it means you don't like my personality, <laughs> which is fine. But yeah, I'll be styling some pieces. Uh, there'll be a lot of packing content, how to pack nice and beautiful fits to like a beautiful girly while traveling um, and things like that should be coming. But yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe and follow along on all my journeys. My TikTok and Instagram is Drew McCormick underscore and my Depop is Drew McCormick 17 if you would like to purchase anything that I'm selling. <laughs>